Jeez, I hate lobbies with a bunch of mirrors. <laughs> I feel like I navigate the mirror pretty good in the late game, but the, the mid game just feels awful. Uh, palm cards are generally good, and that build is generally good in the uh, in the in the mirror. Which one of these do I want to go for? Find a youthful figure here. I guess. Could hold and defer. Maybe holding and deferring is fine. I'm gonna lose this fight either way, right? And he can always just go up to the three speed. What's plus four physique? Is it is the is the sword formation plus four uh, plus four destiny? If so, maybe I'll also <laughs> just leave the lobby. <laughs> I think some mirrors are more miserable than others, Sharp. Like, I find the late game mirrors with this character pretty interesting. Um, I just, I hate the mid game. Because just like, none of your cards do anything. Except, like, two of them, which determine who wins, who gets to win the fight. Which is kind of awful. So, Alright, we're doing youthful bigger today. Well, see ya. Uh, is there any other side job that's good? I think there's arguments for Plant Master and Formation Master. Formation, uh, Plant Master, when you have Omen of Arms, to draw a bunch of, uh, um, Realm Killing Palms is pretty good, and the tier 2 uh, Leaf Shield Power is good with your tier 4. Um, but it's not as good as the tier 2 Elixir. And then Formation Master, you get the tier 3 Hexproof uh, formation, which is like obscene with your tier 4. Uh, but then your late game, I don't really think there's much that's very good. Yeah, I don't think I have meditation. <laughs> It's really that good. So your, your late game drops off a little bit. I have a bunch of extra copies of Mountain Cleaving Palms, and I've got one, two, three, four good upgrades, so it's okay to roll. Carl Sword, so this is not going to really do anything. Twenty-six, thirty-nine, forty-five. Sucks to put this here, but it kills like a whole turn sooner. Otherwise, maybe it's just this. Just tempted to play the full vigor twice. is the best. I don't think I agree with that. Musician also, there, there's a pretty compelling argument for, because musician late games are just really, really good, but whatever. I think Interesting. Guard up elixir gives you a lot of guard up gives you a lot of power to like the random upgrade elixirs are really good too. What does formation give you? So formation makes your mid game slightly stronger. I don't know. I don't think you need to make your mid game stronger at the cost of your late game. Your mid game is just so good already, and like you give up too much early game. I don't know. 
I think it's it's adding more power where you have the most power. But I didn't really get to try it this season. Like at this point, I don't really want to. Uh, I don't really want to. Um, I can't really experiment, right? Because I, I just need to keep ranking up. Alexa also gives you upgrade elixirs and random stat ups, which like absolutely do matter. Minus one. Okay. Alright, we drew it. Um, Unbowed through battle? I don't really like Unbowed through battle. I don't really like any of these. Formation Master, maybe? Fortunes and Luck. Fortunes and Luck are in the tier 3 are uh, good. I'm just gonna take Unbowed through battle. I don't really like it, but I think it's okay. Maybe I should take his tier 3 here, actually. That kind of seems great. Each. I think Alexa gives you enough in enough places to be pretty worthwhile like it gives you a little bit of late game it gives you a lot of mid game and it gives you a lot of early game i feel like pumping up the mid game is not like a big priority no we don't red is not good on this card <laughs> Do I need to keep rolling now? I've got a level 2 exorcism elixir. And a tiger. Yeah, not having truncate to the mirror is pretty rough. Maybe I do keep rolling next turn. Hmm. He ran a random card to mess up my uh, defense like so, unfortunate. Good upgrades, my rolling this away. Already unable to play all these cards. It seems like an obscene turn four tier four board, but the problem is it doesn't doesn't beat truncate.
放你的一脸。啊哈 ！I watch your attack. Unfortunately, you then kept hitting me. Those are a pair of very good blocks. That was uh, that was a lot of <laughs> the two very good defense elixirs. All right. Well, if you've got truncate, I lose. But I don't think I'm supposed to. I don't think I'm supposed to hold out for that. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Make it as late as possible. And I losing to Requiem Jade Lives anyway. I guess that's true. And that, that is a card that kind of slipped my mind. Good point. And try and make physique, or I can just try to attack as much as possible. Neither option seems ideal. But anyway, this board does enough damage to kill him. No way, right? I should probably just play the burning below then. I think it's going to be much of a muchness. Hopefully I don't fight the other one next turn. So the reason to play more Physique would be to try to keep on max HP, but even then I, I'm still not being Jade Requiem Lotus. It effectively has plus 15 Physique written on it. And obviously not beating Truncate either. But I mean about uh, it being like a decent tier 3 board, tier 4 board, but like really, really bad into the mirror. Oh shit, I just drew a bunch of those, huh? That looks very scuffed. I'm sure this turn is going to be devastating for me. <laughs> I'm sure this board is about to become horrifying. This might be too late here. For how I'm playing it. Sorry. Losing the mirror just powers up on God through battle. I do have a lot of attacks that deal real amounts of damage on this board.
That is scary. I'm glad I put attacks on my board that deal real amounts of damage. Otherwise, that would have been a nightmare. Um, yeah. Illusion tune. So, I need to get the Exodus and Elixir up faster against her. I can't just sit around forever. The Lord sucks, she's dead. I hope you're right. I want to believe. Also, she should probably not cut all my physique again. I when I did that yesterday. It wasn't that fun. when I went live. Yeah, it was pretty good. shape. Those. See, she's broken through. Glad I attacked on turn two. Is missing things, yeah. Oh, I'll take it. Tricky. 
Ditty. Yeah, maybe the Axis Mux is a bit too high. Like. Doesn't have a Stix Agility, so that is one point in my favor. Six agility. Did you not take your tier five? Didn't break through. Ah, right. I see. Fifty nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Geez, that is really rough for him then. Then he didn't take his palms because he lost all his fights. Uh, this guy's board is terrifying. Unfortunately, no one has ever beaten Quen Spirit Sword. This is the, uh, the situation we find ourselves in. I'm actually just hitting him is better than playing Bearing the Load. Sucks on second cycle, it's not metal. No, anti chasing him is not good, I think. dead turns on second cycle, but like... Mm, maybe I really don't want dead turns on second cycle. Just do one less damage in order to make sure we're attacking every turn. Don't have this build up. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Mm, that timing is not good. Get the tiger bouncing later. He's gonna get to spend a turn under uh, moon water. Where I'm not hitting him, which might kill me. Stick sure and tangle cleave ward. I spend a turn, I spend two turns not hitting him to play sure or entangle. And I entangle him for one turn. Doesn't seem great to me. If anyone had ever beaten um, Quen Spirit Sword, this board would look great. But unfortunately, no one has ever beaten Quen Spirit Sword. I've never beaten Shinra Evo. The the soul cleaving also does like 14 damage. It's really not a not a strong turn. I'm still on the wall path here. I like combining these, they upgrade nicely. I think I've got enough damage I can afford to roll this shocked. Like, I think these are good enough that I don't need to lean on the shocked. I also don't need to max bearing the load. Okay, okay. This is getting somewhere.
I could have taken my tier three instead of unbowed through battle and just all these cards. Two, three, five. And my turn nine. No real reason to play this in turn one, other than it being fun. Make 10 agility with these. Like chase into the tiger pouncing that way. Sexism looks is already kind of looking bad. I have a bunch of arc APs in my deck. And given it's round 13 or an 89 destiny, it's a good direction to go in. It's also really good in the mirror. is the three copies of Great Waves. I just never fucking kill this character. <laughs> Card, but I need hand space. A lot of good upgrades. A lot of good upgrades, actually. This is like my only battle. Spin the wheel. I could soul cleave him. It's usually pretty bad in the marrow. Supposed to do it there. Maybe I'm supposed to do it. Maybe the card quality on that board is high enough that I should just be running it. I wish I had exercise souls. kills me because he gets back to it too. Uh, he's just my boy but like way better. Unfortunate. 
I needed the extra chase. I mean, we do have a lot of Aki at these in our deck. Defense cycle of fate. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I need three copies to max a card. Yeah, could you imagine? I just need to draw a couple of exercise souls. He is going to be faster than me. Which is kind of scary. I'm assuming having two RKPs is better than having one and a Windward Palms, but I'm not actually sure. Seems fine. Chinray just murdering everyone. <laughs> no one can defeat Chinray. Maybe I can defeat Chinray. Maybe I'm the chosen one. Yeah, I think these one with palms have uh, probably seen the end of their life. Goes one, two, three, get dunked on three. God, I want mostly. Well, I spoiled Smash Chinray. What's Smash Chinray? She's close to Agro Chinray. I don't know. I feel, I feel like she's not Agro Chinray, though. I feel like Agro Chinray is really defined by, like, Blazing Prairie. Does Well Smash Chinray play Blazing Prairie? Try and kill me on like one attack. Understood. <sighs> well, the other one. 
one's fucking dead. This max sticks agility. Yeah, I'll go first against her. What am I doing about this? One, two. I mean, I think I'm just running it back, right? Like, I could play Ice Guard Elixir. Because presumably he's doing the defense stacking stuff against that board, right? So the Entangle should be live. I haven't drawn any copies of Crane Footwork. A little bit funny. God, am I okay, Hill? He can't just go for a fast Dharma against Chinru. Because she has got up. I think I'm okay. I think I don't need to change anything. Stify might let him. I guess we'll see. I, I think as long as he's playing Cycle of Fate, I'm probably fine. Because I, I will kill him before. This board becomes like really threatening. It's more just if he cuts all of this and turns into like GGG Dharma. That's scary, right? Okay. Exercise soul, huh? Not playing meditation anymore. It's definitely gone. This matchup is tough. Last time she destroyed me by cutting all her chase. Do you think she'll do that again? Because the other option is something like this. Yeah, I can slide in an exercise soul for an extra chase if I want. But I can combine the soul cleavings and place whole seizing too. Yeah, we're, we're gonna go first, don't worry. Or I'm gonna eat all my cards to try to go first. I think I'm committed to playing this. The question is RKP or Soul Seizing. Speed tie, you went first. <laughs> yeah, dropping second RKP for speed looks like it would have worked better here. We finally did it. We have beaten Chinray. Alright. 
Nice to get a win on the board. 